it really helps you. I mean, once you get to know it, it it's really, really going to be really useful to mix uh, with, with the other track. So this up here is is your your uh, your strip uh, or stripe. I'm I'm not really sure how they call it. I think it's a stripe. Um, sorry, English is not my first language, unfortunately. But uh, I think you get the idea. Yeah, strip or stripe, whatever. I'm just gonna call it stripe. Over here, you have the name of the track. Uh, you have the key. Uh, and I think if you click it, yeah, if you click it, it goes to a numerical value. If you are in, uh, wanting or are you looking to mix in key, and you're using like uh, things like the 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 Camelot system, uh, this is going to be really useful later on. But for now, let's just leave it on the you know on on the normal key value there. It, it tells you the length of the track, and uh, th that's this part up here. Uh, we're gonna go to our pitch section here. Um, this is just like a DJ mixer. If, if you if you notice over here, the the BPMs. If if I move the the the, the throttle or or the pitch, if I move it upwards, you're gonna notice that it's going to slow it slow down the slow down the song, and um, of course if I move it downwards, it's going to accelerate the the, the BPMs of of the song. Now, if if we click the middle here it's going to automatically you know reset it gradually in case we're we're mixing or we're trying to uh, the beat match um, if, if we hit this this buttons here look at the BPMs it's going to go in little increments and uh, you're gonna notice too that uh, that's why I love virtual DJ so much uh, as you change the pitch <clears throat> you're gonna notice that if I go faster obviously the time is going to change and if I go slower the time is going to be obviously longer so that that helps you out on the mix over here we remember on, on when we set it up we had it um, to uh, plus and minus 20 so that means it, this this track is 128 BPM and if I go all the way to the to the to the top, it's gonna bring it down by twenty percent. If I go up, um, it, it's gonna bring it up by by twenty by twenty percent. I'm sorry. If I bring it down, it's gonna bring the 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 up to uh, twenty percent on on the speed of, uh, or the pitch of the of the track. What is this uh, the this over here, guys? It's it's basically it. This is like this is the pitch bend. Which, when I go into the beat matching uh, tutorial, I'm 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 going to talk about that. And uh, this is the 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 pitch bend over here. Th this is a very cool feature, and I'm I'm gonna take I'm I'm gonna show you what this does. This is the key lock. When we change the pitch of a song, of any track, it's also going to affect its key obviously and uh, here let me explain why I'm gonna hit play on this track and uh, you're gonna see uh, as I move the pitch up or down how this little guy up here is going to change and um, how the sound it's it's going to uh, be, be affected as well so uh, here we go let me bring it up so you can hear on both channels so I'm gonna bring the down, but actually we need to wait for some instrument there because it's only beat. Okay, I'm gonna do accelerate the track right now. See, as well, that's too much for this track. But see, as I move it up or down. It changes the pitch as well. See, and uh, obviously the key is going to change as well. Now, if you are new at mixing um, and you have you you haven't been exposed yet to what is mixing by key, which is, in my opinion, it's the way to go because it's very fun. Uh, it opens the door to do a lot of very very cool stuff 
with your tracks it opens up the the it's a huge window of possibilities if you mix if you mix if you I'm sorry if you mix by key so um, this is what the 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 key lock does remember if if I play this see it changes you can tell the difference there now I'm going to lock it and watch this as I say it only it's only going faster but it's not changing the pitch anymore it's not changing the key so that is very very helpful that is really 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 helpful guys if um, you, you're just getting started and you're not sure because uh, I think when you accelerate a song um, eight beats it's about half a note roughly I would say between eight and ten beats it's about half a note but I'm, I'm not gonna get into that so uh, this is a pitch control. That's what the key lock uh, does. I strongly suggest that you engage it, and you always have it engaged, so you don't have to worry about that. This is our loop sampler right here, and the, right now I have a um, I have load the siren, and if actually if I click here, you know that's uh, it's very fun to use if you're if you're playing and uh, you just. Okay, hit the siren, you know, get it noisy, get get it pumping, get the get the the crowd going. This is your effects over here. Uh, right now, it's loaded on a backspin. This is what it does. That's great to use when you are mixing out of a, of a track. If you implement it and you know when to hit it, and uh, of course, I'm gonna go into that with you. Um, we're gonna have a lot of fun with that so uh, this is your sampler this is your effects okay over here I'm sorry about that over here is our loop uh, control or our loop engine uh, per se make sure that you have this button click which is called the smart loop I'm, I'm going to rewind this track and and um, you're gonna see what I mean by smart loop. If I disengage this and I play and I wanna make like a, a four bar loop, it might go out of sync. But if, if I engage it, it's always, no matter when I hit this button here, it's always going to make an exact four beat loop with no gaps and it's going to be completely syncable on what you're doing these two buttons these two uh, knobs right here don't worry about them uh, I'm not even gonna go into that I've never used them uh, in and out once again don't you don't need to use this if you have the the sampler right here if you wanna go um, 1 beat, 2 beats, 4 beats, 8 beats, 16, 32, and so on. Probably the, the when I use the loop control, the only one that I've used is either 4 or 8, sometimes 16, depending on what you're doing. And uh, once we get familiar with this, you'll see what I mean. Uh, over down here, we have our Q button that, if you notice, if I hit it it's going to go back automatically to this queue and um, I'm going to delete this queue point when you first load a song into virtual DJ it's going to load just just like that and um, probably just like that and it's not gonna you know load to the first beat what I like to do is I like to move the song actually to the first beat and actually you're gonna notice by the time I get to the peak of that beat